Hello, everyone. Welcome to the screencast WebSocket Streaming APIs in WSO2 API Manager. I am Senduran Ambalavana, a senior software engineer at WSO2. WebSocket is a type of streaming API. SSC and WebSock are the other type of streaming APIs in WSO2 API Manager. With streaming APIs, we have added first class support for event driven architecture and asynchronous APIs. Mature API management capabilities of the WSO2 API Manager have been added to streaming APIs. Async API specification is a standard for defining asynchronous APIs similar to Open API specification for REST APIs. We can create a streaming API from an async API definition or export an existing streaming API to an async API definition. Streaming API types are mainly focused on web-friendly protocols and integration components of WSO2 API Manager can be used to switch protocols that are other than WebSockets, SSC and WebSock. This is a high-level architecture of a WebSocket API. The gateway contains the WebSocket API which can talk to either a WebSocket server directly or an integration component of WSO2 API Manager such as the WSO2 Streaming Integrator which can switch any protocol to WebSocket. A streaming API is a collection of topics. A topic in a streaming API is similar to a resource in a REST API. In WebSockets, this is useful with WebSocket multiplexing where we use a single server that has multiple channels. WebSocket API topics support URL mapping where we can remap parameters from the request as shown here. Here are some examples of WebSocket topic URL mapping. When it comes to the quality of service aspect, we can have fine-grained authorization at topic level. This supports making a topic accessible only to a set of users. Multiple authentication options are provided for end-user applications. We have analytics to provide insights about asynchronous communication and rate limiting to control the rate of message flow. Now, Let's see a demonstration. We'll be looking at a chat service example. Our WebSocket API is going to have three topics that will connect with our WebSocket server's channels. Rooms is to join a chat room that has the given ID. Notifications is to receive notifications and support is to chat with support. We will use the support topic to demonstrate fine-grained authorization at topic level. We will be using a web application that will talk to our WebSocket API. Let's go to the API Manager Publisher, click Streaming API and select WebSocket API. Let's enter the API's details, the WebSocket server endpoint and click on Create. Now let's add the topics. After deleting the default topics, let's add the notifications topic. URL mapping of the notifications topic is notifications itself. Let's add the rooms topic with room ID as a path parameter. Here we are going to use URI.bar.room ID to map the path parameter into a query parameter. Finally, let's add the support topic. Next, we are going to apply fine-grained authorization for the support topic so that this topic is only accessible for those who have a special score. For this, let's switch on security and click create new score. Let's create a score with support subscriber as the display name with an already available role. Now let's go back to the topics page. After switching on security again, we can see the created scope under API scopes. Let's choose that, 
click on save and deploy and deploy a revision after that we can publish our websocket streaming api now let's view our api in the dev portal let's go to the subscriptions page and subscribe using the default application let's then click on prod keys and generate an access token we are going to generate it without any scopes for the moment let's copy the generator token and provide it to our web application our web application has connected to the websocket server and we are receiving notifications from the websocket server in real time through the notifications topic let's go ahead and join a couple of rooms here multiple websocket connections are going to be made to the websocket server through the rooms topic while all of these are active at the same time we start to see chats in each room as messages are being received through these connections Since WebSocket channels are duplex, we can also send messages through these connections. Let's send some chats in multiple chat rooms. Now, let's try to connect to the support chat. We are not able to do this since our token doesn't have the required score. Let's go to the dev portal and obtain a new token. This time we are going to generate the token with the support subscriber score. Let's copy the new token and provide it to our web application. Now we will be able to join the support chat and interact through the support topic since our latest token was obtained with the required score. We hope you enjoyed the screencast. Stay tuned with WSO2 for more content like this. Thank you.